The Grammys belonged to one man this year, Sam Smith. Won't you stay with me? It might have been his first year here, but he took away Best New Artist, Best Pop Vocal Album, Song of the Year and Record of the Year. I just want to say that before I made this record, I was doing everything to try and get my music heard. I tried to lose weight and make, make, I was making awful music. And it was only until I started to be myself that the music started to flow and people started to listen. So thank you guys for accepting me to be just me. Thank you. Four Grammys. That's a lot of acceptance speeches and a lot of thank yous. Just a quick one. I want to thank the man who this record is about, who I fell in love with last year. Thank you so much for breaking my heart because you got me four Grammys. <laughs> It's the record industry's big annual get-together, but it's also all about the show. From Pharrell Williams, showing why he won Best Pop Solo Performance, to Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett singing Cheek to Cheek after picking up a Grammy themselves. And Madonna. Last year, she hosted a mass wedding. This year, she wasn't wearing white. The other big winner of the night was American singer Beck for Album of the Year and Best Rock Album. The Grammys is also about unlikely combinations. Tom Jones joined Jesse J. And Paul McCartney shared a stage with Rihanna and Kanye West. I'm trying to make it back home by Monday they're used to seeing big breakout acts here at the Grammys, but they haven't seen anything like the phenomenon that is Sam Smith for quite some time. His six nominations mean he's mentioned in the same breath as Pharrell Williams, as Beyonce. And his success tonight is just going to catapult him to even greater international stardom. Alistair Lee, the BBC News at the Grammys in Los Angeles.